Krita 3 comes with an improved keyboard shortcuts editor. We are going to look at it to get a little refresher on customizing our shortcuts in Krita and also look at the canvas input settings in greater depth than before. So before, a shortcuts used to be split across two different windows in Krita. Now you can access them all in the preference window by going to settings and then to configure Krita. You can find them in two different places. First, you have keyboard shortcuts, and second, you have the canvas input settings. The canvas input settings control all of the keystrokes that happen on the canvas directly using your mouse in general. For instance, by default, if you keep the shift key down and click and drag, you can change the size of your brush. You can also pan, rotate the canvas, zoom in and out on the canvas, all of that is controlled by the canvas input settings. You can also find a shortcut to select the layer on the canvas using the R key or to toggle the line drawing mode like that with the V key. That's all controlled in the canvas input settings tab in the preferences window. Next, you have the keyboard shortcuts and that's everything else in Krita. This controls all of the functions you can access in menus inside of Docker, or some functions that you can call on your document. Now, shortcuts are arranged in three different categories. The first one we're going to look at is tools. It relates mostly to the vector tools in Krita. These are shortcuts that belong to a given tool, but that are kind of a sub-tool inside of it. Let me just give you an example. If you take the interaction tool, this is exclusive to vectors. So let me add a vector layer, expand my toolbox and draw a vector shape. Now, if I select my vector, you can see that you have some arranging options. So this allows you to align vector shapes based on their edges, their center. For the vector tools, you can assign shortcuts to those arranged tools directly in the tool section. You can also see the artistic text tool, in that case, that's available here. Then you have menu options. The subcategories in the menu category correspond to the menu you have at the top of the window. You will not find everything available in Krita or in the menus there, because for instance, if you go to the Krita category and then to layers, you will find some layers related options that are also available from the layer menu. But in general, the Krita category contains the functions that are most common when drawing or painting with Krita. Now you can change shortcuts pretty easily. Let's find an entry that we want to edit. Let's say fill layer. I click on the entry fill layer and there's a default set to none, meaning there's no default shortcut. You can either click on the little radio button or directly click on the button on the right of it. And then you just have to input the shortcut that you want to use. So for instance, I'm going to press Control Shift F. Krita tells me there's a conflict. The Control Shift F keyboard shortcut is already assigned to the file layer entry. You can choose between two options. We can either reassign the shortcut, it will be deleted from the file layer entry, and it will be set on the fill layer entry. Or we can cancel our operation. I'm going to click reassign in that case, and you can see that now there's no shortcut anymore on the file layer, and there's a shortcut on the fill layer. I'm going to set my file layer back to Control Shift F, reassign, and done. You can also search for keyboard shortcuts in Krita. You can search two different things. You can either search for the name. If I look for fill, you can see that in the layer subcategory, I get the fill layer option, but I can also look for shortcuts. So you just have to type the shortcut lowercase. And if I search control, I'm going to add the plus sign because if you have a key combination, you can see that the shortcut is written as control plus shift plus the letter or control plus alt plus something. I'm going to go for control plus shift. And you can see that our entry here, file layer is filtered because the keyboard shortcut associated with it is control plus shift plus F. 
and I'm looking for all of the shortcuts containing Control plus Shift. That way you can also see if you have many entries, for instance, with Control plus Alt, and you can note the ones that you can't use or think a bit more about the ones that you would like to assign to certain functions in Krita. Another thing that's new is the shortcut schemes, which you can find at the bottom of the window. You can see that mine is set to GDQuest, which is a custom shortcut scheme. In that case, I've changed many shortcuts in Krita, and it's quite simple. You can click on that drop down menu and pick any of the profiles to load it directly. You can also click on new to create a new fresh copy of uh, the selected profile and start editing it. You can delete a profile and then you can save or load custom shortcuts. For instance, I have my shortcut scheme in here. I can save it and I already have it here on the desktop. I'm going to double click, accept, and now I can at any point load my custom shortcuts from here. So this means that you can now share your custom shortcuts with everyone on the internet. Last but not least, the print button is back and it allows you to print all of your shortcuts, for instance, to a PDF file in that case. I'm gonna click in here and you can see that Krita will make a long table containing all of your shortcut entries. You just have to press OK to save your changes or cancel to cancel them.